Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Janet and today's class is called Gliding into Wheel and it's this idea that we want to um, make our practice um, an action. It's consistent, it's persistent, it is moment to moment and so we're going to be working with um, a sense of fluidity so it's a little bit of a different entry into wheel it's a little bit snaky um, but it's good to do things uh, differently so go ahead and close your eyes come onto your shins close your eyes Let's lift your lower back, illuminate the spine. Retract your skull and pull your shoulder heads back in line with your collarbones. Mm, just start to connect to your breath. The inhale turns into the exhale. Inhale, and you continue that fluid, smooth cycle. And this is where it begins. We are looking for a continuous presence. But, and at first it might be a little bit choppy, we're present and aware and then we're not, and then we come back. But over time, it gets smoother and smoother, more connected, more connected. Everything we do on and off the mat. Take another deep breath in. And a full breath out. <sighs> Good, reach your arms up. In your eyes. Interlace your hands. Press your palms to the ceiling. Squeeze your upper arms in and try to take your pinkies back. And then at the same time, rather than flaring through the ribs and finding a back bend, soften the front ribs down. Good. Deep breath in. Stay long through the spine. And then begin to twist to the left. Wrap the right ribs around. Pull your left ribs back. So there's no rounding or side bend. We're simply rotating through the spine. Inhale, grow taller. And exhale, find that rotation. Anchor your right shin, right hip. Squeeze the arms in. One more breath. Stay for your exhale. Come back to center. Deep breath in. And then twist to the right. Pull your right ribs back. Wrap the left ribs around. Good, and then pinkies back, arms firm. Good. Anchor into the left hip, left shin. Pull your right ribs back more. Inhale. Stay for the exhale. Good, and then come back to center. Release your arms. Let the sensation dissolve, but stay present with it. Deep breath in and out. Good. Come forward into your plank. Good. So hands underneath the shoulders and step one foot back and then the other foot back. This is like the best full body warm up, just a plank. Good. We warm the shoulders, the core, the legs, the hips. Actively press away so your shoulders lift, your back fills. Good. Lengthen the tailbone down towards the heels. Press the center of the thigh bone up against the pelvis. Good. Take a deep breath in. And then bend the knees. Slide the hips back towards your heels. But lift your sit bones downward facing dog. Inhale. Come forward to plank. You can make it snaky if you want to ripple. Or just stay present with it. And then on your exhale, it initiates that movement back towards downward facing dog. So stick with your breath. Inhale brings you forward. And elongate, press through the heels, lengthen through the crown of the head. So there's never this moment where you arrive, it just turns into 
the next movement. So with today's practice, I want you to think of these postures as actions. You never arrive. You're constantly working in them. Come forward, plank. Shoulders over the wrists, legs stay engaged. A downward facing dog. One more with your own breath. Stay connected. Glide forward. And glide back. Good. And then lift the heel. Start to stroll. Lift, push, lower. Lift, push the foot forward and drop. Lift, push, drop. Notice intention to lift, lift, intention to push, push, intention to drop, drop. Good, so you're noticing everything that's happening as you walk forward. Good. As you breathe in, find a halfway lift. Welcome to use the blocks if you have them. Long neck. And then fold into yourself. Keep the legs sharp. Circle the arms wide. Come all the way up. Merge the palms. Get taller. And the exhale tells you when to pull the hands through the center of the heart. Place of connection. Release the arms by your side. Inhale. Circle and rise. Press the palms. And then exhale. Fold forward. Firm the outer hips in. And breathe in, halfway lift, lengthen. And then step your right foot back. Lower your knee directly underneath your hip to 90 degree angle. So avoid that lungy lunge. We're more contained. Pull the inner thighs towards each other. Lift your arms up. Same mudra with the arms. Interlace the hands, press the palms to the ceiling. And take the pinkies back. Firm the front ribs down. Good, and then here we go. Pull the front foot towards your back knee. Lift your knee to hover. Good, and down. Good, so you just hover the knee. You're in control, not skipping anything. Lift the knee, feel the sensation, hover. Lower it back down. Again, lift and hover. Three, take the arms back. Two, frontal hips lift. And one, lower the knee, lower your hands, and then straighten both legs, pyramid stretch. Welcome to use blocks. Pull the left hip crease back, breathe in. Extend the heart forward, and exhale, drape yourself down the front of the thigh. Bend into your front knee. Good, plant your hands, step to plank. Inhale, get long. And your exhale, you'll lower all the way down. Moving through, not skipping anything. Point the toes, toenails down, breathe in, lift. Cobra. And exhale to release. Again, your inhale initiates a movement. Lift, cobra. And release. One more, lift. Cobra. And release. Then press to your knees for a plank. Tuck the toes. And downward facing dog. Breathe in. And, and out. Good. Lift your heels. Draw your right knee to your chest. Step through. Lower the back knee. Underneath the hip to 90 degree angles. Take the arms up. Interlace your hands. Press the palms to the ceiling. Good. And then you just lift the knee to hover. And then lower it back down. Notice if you kind of go forward to lift. See if you can go straight up. Lift the knee. Squeeze the feet together. Lower it back down. One more. Lift the knee. Lean back. Hold for three. Two. Feel the back thigh. Stay present. And one. Lower it down with control. Lower your hands. Good. And then straighten both legs. So that is really challenging. But when you stay in the driver's seat and do the hard 
in between moments, over time you create more grace, more fluidity, more connection. Good, look forward, step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold into your legs. Circle the arms wide, lift all the way up. And pull the thumbs through the heart, release your arms by your side. We continue, inhale, circle. And then exhale, fold forward. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot back. You're welcome to use your blocks if you want movements of lunge. Stay connected, back thigh lifted, heart forward, breathe in. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Breathe in. Back heel presses back. Exhale, pull that right hip crease back, front big toe down. One more bend. Make it as pretty as you can. You know, that's a good way to be present is where you're kind of focusing on the details, staying connected. Bend into your knee, stay here and then sweep the hands back by the hips, palms face up. So it's like arrowhead, but the palms are up. Lift the front of the shoulder, belly is off of the back thigh, so you have a long line from the back heel through the crown of the head. Good. Listen carefully. We glide the arms forward by the ears. When they arrive by the ears, you bend your elbows, flex your fingers back, lift the elbow, Good. and then you come all the way back to the start position. So it's like when we go from bridge into wheel prep. So reach the arms above your head. Stay in the long diagonal, bend your elbows, hands back, try to lift your elbows. Good, and then take your hands all the way back. One more, reach your arms forward. And when they arrive by the ears, bend the elbows, press your hands up, lift your elbows. And then come all the way back, deep breath in. Lower your hands down. Straighten your front leg. Good. Long pyramid with a twist. Reach your right arm up. So you stay with the back heel lifted, long legs. You can use the block or not. Firm, those, firm the right hip in. Lengthen the right side of the waist. Maybe look up. Take your right hand all the way down. Move the blocks to the side. Step to plank. Breathe in. Lower all the way down. Point your toes, feet down. Take your fingertips wide. We're going to do like little spider arms, striking cobra. A little bit more snaky. Lift the chest, peel away. Press into the fingertips. And exhale, roll all the way down. I'm not missing a moment. Breathe in, peel away. And then exhale, release. One more. Inhale to lift. And then, then just melt down. That sense of oozing. Hands by the ribs, cobra, or upward facing dog. To downward facing dog. And that feeling of oozing and melting, it's like, that's what you want, this kind of water-like quality where your practice starts to flow and ooze, not just in these moments on the map, but they kind of ooze into every conversation, every decision, moment to moment, continuous action, steady effort in the direction you want to go. Lift your heels and draw your left knee to your chest. And then step forward between your hands. If you used your blocks, gather them, breathe in, heart forward. And exhale, straighten. Just feel that pulsation. Ebb, inhale. And flow. 
here in this constant state of ebb and flow. Bend and straighten. Big toe down. Bend your knee and then sweep the hands back by the hips, palms up, wide in the collarbones, deep breath in. And start to lift your arms overhead. When they get in line with the ears, you bend at the elbows, flex the fingers back. Firm the elbows in. Good, and then straighten the arms all the way back. Yeah, so reach your arms up by your ears. Bend your elbows. Notice if they go wide, I want you to firm them in. And then bring them all the way back. One more. Lift. Bend. Lift your elbows, upper arms higher. And then sweep the hands back by your hips. But lower the hands. Straighten your front leg, long pyramid. And then right hand down. Keep that right leg lifted as you peel into a little twisted pyramid. It's like a nice prep for revolve triangle. Not as deep, a little bit longer, a little bit more spacious. Space is love. One more breath. And take your hand back and down and then step forward, top of the mat. Breathe in, halfway lift. And exhale to fold. And circle the arms wide. Lift all the way up. Keep the arms up. Take your right hand to your left forearm. Yeah. Big breath in. Move the pelvis to the left. And just take a side bend over towards the right. Good. One more breath here. And out. So even when you're kind of a little bit sticky and restricted, can you find that fluidity? Switch sides, deep breath in. Pelvis to the right as you bend to the left. Find that side body stretch. Inhale, find space. And exhale to soften. Come all the way up. Both arms lift up and then bend your knees, chair. Firm the outer hips in, lift the lower belly, arms by the ears. Good, and we keep going. I want you to not miss a beat. Just keep going through the discomfort. Right, each time it gets smoother and smoother. Abhyasa, steady effort in the direction you want to go. So that consistency, despite the mind, you do differently. Good, come on to your back. We got a little bit of core work. Lift your shins up to tabletop. Interlace the hands behind your head. And then lift head, neck, and shoulders. Good. So we're going to take left elbow to the right knee. It stays connected the whole time. Lift your left leg up. And then slowly lower your left leg. So you're in a twist. You stay connected in that cross body. Lift your left leg up. Good. And then lower to hover. Lift. Stay with the challenge. Stay with the work. And lower. One more. Lift. And lower. Good. Lift back up. Good. And we're going to switch sides right away. Right elbow to the left knee. Lift your right leg up. You're in the twist. Lower your right leg. Hover. And then lift it back up. Press the knee into your elbow. Lower. Hover. And then lift back up. Good. Lower. And hover. The pelvis is stable. One more. Lower. And lift. Good. Come back to center and just place the feet down. And you're going to take your hands alongside your body by your hips. Draw your shoulder heads down. Inner thighs wrap down and I'm going to have you roll into your bridge. So you draw the pubic bone towards the belly button. Lift the tailbone and peel 
off of the mat. Press into your feet, and the big toe mound. Inner thigh wraps down, outer hips in, and tailbone lifts into the pelvis. Press into your inner palm. Good. And then take the chest more towards the chin. Find that nice stretch along the front of the body. Lighting up the back of your glutes and your hamstrings as the feet pull towards your shoulders. And then lower all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Good. Roll up and down along your spine. All the way over. Downward facing dog. Optional flow if that feels good. Inhale. And exhale. Center that left foot a little bit. Lift your right leg high. Deep breath in. And then draw your knee to your chest. Step through between your hands. Good. Bend into your front knee. Place your back foot 45 degrees. Firm your right hip in. So warrior one legs. Back thigh engages. And then same thing. Take the hands back by your hips. Arrowhead palms face up. Lift the shoulder heads. And we're going to do a little add-on, right? So we build, making it smooth and graceful. Reach your arms by your ears. Bend your elbows. Good. Flex your fingers back. And then press your palms to the ceiling. Straighten your arms. Good. And then come all the way back to center. So there's that action at the end, like you're pressing into wheel. Reach your arms forward by the ears. Bend your elbows, wrap the elbows in, try to lift your arms straight and press the palms up to the ceiling. Good. Take the hands back by your hips. One more time, reach your arms forward by your ears. Good. And then bend your elbows, press your palms up like you're pressing your arms straight into wheel. Good. And then take your hands back by your hips. Interlace your hands, straighten both legs, lift your chest. Big breath in, glide the knuckles down, the back thigh, and then humble warrior, bow inside of your right leg. Reach your fist up and over. Notice if your hips go to the right, squeeze them back towards center, and bend into that front knee. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Release your hands. Place a block inside of your right foot. But if you don't have a block, don't stress. Bring that back foot in a little bit. We're preparing for revolve triangle. Good. Hands to hips. Stand all the way up. Take your little hitchhiker thumb. Hook it into your right hip crease and pull it back. If your left hip can't wrap around, you might need to shorten your stance a little bit. Lift your left arm. Press into the front big toe, breathe in. Good, and as you fold, you're, you hinge at the hips, yeah? So this angle becomes sharper, right hip crease goes back. And then without the block, hand to either the shin, with the block, to the block. Good, pull the heart forward so you never lose the length in the spine or the trajectory of the crown of the head forward. And then start to spin the right chest open. Good. Press down, lift out of your left shoulder. Good. And if you can keep that pelvis stable and the right hip crease back, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Both big toes down and lift your knees, firm your legs. Good. Inhale. Stay for the exhale. One more breath here. Head is in line with the tailbone. Good, and then lower your right hand down, bend your knee. Wiggle that left foot back, move the block out of the way. Good. Step to plank. Breathe in. Good, lower left forearm, right forearm. Spin both heels to the right. Might find a little adjustment in the back. Self Cairo, pull the chest forward. Squeeze your butt. Good. And then come back to center, breathe in. And then heels over to the left. Firm the butt. Pull the chest forward. 
Good. Come back to center. Press down through the forearms. Walk your feet in. Dolphin. Notice if you flare through the ribs, pull the ribs in and then press down through the forearms to lift the shoulder. Stay here or lift your left leg. Option to play, but you stay in control. So you work to press and lift the heel. Right, working the in-between moments, skipping nothing, feeling everything, the stuff you like, the stuff you don't like. And lower your left leg. Walk your feet back, forearm plank, breathe. And then melt the pelvis down, sphinx. Should feel really nice. Notice if you sink into the shoulders, lift out of the shoulders, press into the inner palm. Okay, try to keep the chest lifted in this transition. I lied, you're not, we're doing something different. You're gonna take your elbows wide, lower your forehead down, anchor your toenails down, and then lift your head, neck, and shoulders. So it's like you have a little salute here. Good, everything stays lifted, extend your arms forward and then bring them back to your head. Smooth, extend them forward. That hardest bit is straightening right at the end. Come back to your head. We do eight, go faster. Seven, six, stay as high as you can. Five, four, three, squeeze the arms. Two, and one, and then lower all the way down. Feel your back right up. Breathe in. And um, slide the hands by your ribs. Cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Lift your heels. Good. Lift your left leg high. And draw your knee to your chest. Step between your hands. Set up the legs for warrior one. Back heel spins down. Squeeze the left hip in. Take the hands back by the hips. Palms up. Wide in the collarbones. Good. Slowly reach the arms forward by the ears. Bend your elbows. And then press your palms up to the ceiling. Squeeze. Good. Take the hands all the way back to start. Good. Legs stay strong. Reach your arms forward. Bend your elbows. Elbows stay lifted. Squeeze them in. And then straighten your arms without the elbows going wide. Good. One more. Hands back to the start. Reach your arms forward. Bend the elbows. And then press the palms up. Good. And then take the hands back to the start. Good. Interlace your hands. Punch the fist down. Straighten both legs. Lift the heart. And then bow inside of your front leg. Humble warrior. Reach the fist up and over. Continue to lift the shoulders so you never arrive. The work continues. Steady effort in the direction you want to go. Firm the left hip in. Lower your hands. Place the block inside the left edge of the inner edge of the foot. Step that back foot in a tad so your hips can square off. Hands to hips, stand up. Take your left thumb, hook it into your left hip. Feel that left thigh bone press back. Right arm to the ceiling, breathe in. And then start to reach forward as your tailbone goes back. Press your big toe mound into the block and down. And hand to the block. Lift out of your right shoulder, pull the sternum forward, and then start to wrap your left lung back. Pelvis is really steady and stable. It has that earth element, grounding, firm. Maybe left arm to the ceiling. Two more breaths. Firm your back leg, smooth and steady. 
and lower your left hand all the way down. Move the block out of the way. Wiggle that right foot back. Step your left foot back. Here we go. Spin the heels to the left. I lie. Lift your heels. Lower your forearms. Good. Heels to the left. Pull the chest forward. Notice if your bum goes way back, squeeze it to the center. Lift your heels, heels to the right. Pull the chest forward. Squeeze your bum. Good. Come back to center and walk your feet in. Dolphin round two. Dolphin is the most amazing prep for wheel because we have the same kind of shape. The arms are above the head and extension. Good. And then option to lift your right leg. Press down into your inner palms. Lift your shoulders. Lift your left hip crease. Squeeze the right leg towards the, the midline. Adduct the leg. Lower the feet. Walk your feet back. Forearm plank. Breathe in. Lower the hips all the way down. Sphinx again. Deep breath in. Okay, this time is where we're going to do that transition. Press your feet down. Slide the hands back by your ribs. Keep the chest lifted. And then this time, lift your legs and reach your arms back. Good. No interlace. Just reach your arms back. Imagine squeezing a block. And then we squeeze the heels to the bum. Three. Extend the legs long. Point the toes. Good. Two. Contract your hamstrings. One more. You either squeeze them in and hold or find your ankles. Flex your feet. Work to press your feet up to the ceiling. Thigh bones lift. Chest lifts. Kick evenly into your hands or continue squeezing the heels to your bum in the prep variation. So eventually you're creating that strength to get your hands all the way back without having to go side to side. One more breath. Getting toasty and slowly release. Good, turn your head to one side. Breathe into your back body. Good, and then you're just going to flip onto your back. Come on over. Swing this way. And you'll bring your feet underneath your knees. So I'm just going to demonstrate where we're going to go with this. So you can start to see the fluidity. We're going to do three rounds. In the first round, we lift the hips and the hands at the same time. Okay, so you lift your hips. Lift your arms and then place your hands by your ears. This is variation one. Okay, just stay with me. Just watch so you know where it's going. Variation two. We don't stop and pause. We just keep going to the crown of the head. Variation two. You lift the hips, place the hands, and you keep going. Crown of the head. There's no pause. And then you come all the way down, melting through the spine, hips and hands la or land back down in the start position. Third one, we're gliding all the way up into wheel. So we lift the hips, lift the arms. When the hands plant, you immediately press coming to the head and then you keep going without stopping at the crown of the head. And then you come down. Tuck the chin, shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back, hands land. Okay, so let's do those together. Place your feet. Good, so you see that gliding, the fluidity that's involved. We don't stop, start, stop, start, which is also valuable, but it's good to do things differently. Press into the feet, wrap the inner thighs down. As you lift your tailbone and ripple through the spine, your arms come overhead and you plant the hands by the ears. So at this stage, we'll stop. 
Press into your feet, chest towards your chin, elbows in. And one more breath. Inner thighs wrap down as you melt through the spine and lower your hands, hips and hands lower, same time. Okay, draw your shoulder heads back. Again. This time we come crown of the head. You can always stick with that first option. Getting the hands by the ears is really valuable. Good. Lift your hips, lift your arms. Good, when the hands plant, go straight to the crown of the head and stay. Wrap the elbows in, take the chest through the arms, lift your tailbone up into the pelvis. Good, and then lift your head, tuck your chin, we glide all the way down, hands by your hips. Deep breath in. And a full breath out. Again, inhale. And exhale, you're doing really well. Stick with it. And we keep going into the full wheel. Good. So continuous movement, continuous action. We're gonna go up and then come straight back down and then the final round, we're gonna hold our wheel. Good, so you have two opportunities to try it out. Repetition's good, lift the hips, lift your arms. When the hands plant, keep going all the way. Press into the hands, press into your feet and then slowly bend the elbows, tuck your chin. Shoulders, upper back, hands return, lower back all the way down. Inhale fully, I keep moving down the mat, and exhale completely. Okay, here we go, final round. Option to hold the wheel. Press into your feet, lift your hands, lift the hips. Try not to stop, just keep going. Hands plant and you ripple and press. Good. And then you can maybe walk your feet in. Widen the inner heels, wrap those outer knees in. Breathe. Stay for as long as you like, but keep a little juice in the tank so you can come down fluidly without collapsing shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back, be still, hands to the chest, the belly, feel your connection, feel all the effects of coming into wheel or any back bend that you chose. Opening up the front of the body. Inhale fully. And exhale completely. Good. We're going to move into our reclined twist. Hug your knees into your chest. Good. and then just drop your knees over to the right. Press your left shoulder down. And you can use your right hand onto your knees. That feels good, or you can work to move that top hip away from you. And, and now you can just kind of let go of control. Let go of paying attention to every detail. Let go of the action of it all. Right? The purpose of yoga is to experience everything and also be able to let it go. Come back to center. 
And then over to the other side, drop your knees over to the left. Press your right shoulder down. And now it's just a nice time to just soak up the residue of your practice. And the residue of opening the front body, the residue of doing challenging things. How does it all make you feel? back to center place the feet down I'm gonna move into just a figure four just a hip stretch take your right ankle onto your left knee Good. and then pull your left thigh in and you can always bring a block under your head but you want your head to be heavy press your right knee away find that juiciness of leaning into the sensation And then just switch sides, take your time. A moment between. So there's still that sense of connection and fluidity. Kind of no feelings of stop, start, stop, start. Breathe into your hip. Full breath out. And then just release. We're coming to Shavasana. Stay for Shavasana. Committing to all parts of the practice. Take your legs long. Take your arms long. You can cover up or turn the lights off. Set yourself up for a successful Shavasana where you can totally kind of let go and give back to yourself.
take a deep breath in. Open mouth. <sighs> Stay for as long as you like or just start to take full body stretch. And then hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And then just roll to your side. Keep your eyes closed. Press yourself up to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. This place of connection. We'll take one ohm. You're welcome to join me just in the comfort of your home or just listen. Exhale, empty your lungs. Take a deep breath in. Oh. And bring the thumbs to your forehead and just take a deep bow towards your mat and the fluidity and grace that it brings into all the aspects of our life. Namaste.